Hi everybody and welcome to, I want to say day one of Vlogmas, but this might be up on day two. <laughs> Probably likely to be up on day two. So just welcome to Vlogmas. Um, so this year's Vlogmas, I, I didn't really know what to do. I'm kind of in two minds about the whole situation. Um, so I think we're just going to play it by ear and see how we get on. Um, I kind of wanted to upload it every day, but now I just don't think that's going to be feasible with my workload. So I'm going to go for every other day and then um, maybe twice a week. We'll see. We'll just see how we get on. I don't think there's any need to like pressure myself into doing it every day because there are so many creators out there that do. So I'm sure you guys will have loads of stuff to watch. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Anyway, so also with Vlogmas, it's a little bit difficult because obviously we're quite restricted at the moment with what we can do. So I still want to make these vlogs interesting and I know you guys love just seeing like normal daily life but it gets so monotonous just doing like the same thing like just walking Rafi and working. Um, Sam doesn't have much time off over this period so um, I'm kind of restricted with what I can do <laughs> because obviously I can't do a lot with anyone else because he's the only person in my household. Um, but yeah we'll see how we go we'll see how we go i think it should be fun i'm gonna do like some baking some wrapping like all of that kind of thing so um yeah hopefully you guys will enjoy that but anyway today is first day uh this morning i went out for a run which you guys will have seen earlier and then i cleaned out the fridge which is just riveting but i feel like you guys enjoy these kind of things so i'm actually going to pop the clips in now of me cleaning the fridge and then i will chat to you in a sec Okay, so I just cleared the fridge out um, and just gave it a bit of a clean and stuff. It's looking a little bit empty to be honest because we get Hello Fresh and we're due one uh, tomorrow. So um, just got Rafi's food over here, meat, eggs. This is our like cheese <laughs> um, box, which has got like all sorts of cheese in it. And just all the sauces and everything like that up there. So yeah, pretty boring. Um, but that's one job ticked off the list today. So I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, <laughs> and now I am, um, I've just filmed a job, which is why I'm looking all like glam. That is another thing that kind of puts me off doing vlogmas is I hate the idea of having to wear makeup all the time. And I know obviously I don't have to wear makeup and I can just come on here bare face. And I do do that a lot, but after a while when you're editing your no makeup face, you start to like really criticize yourself. Um, so yeah, that's another reason why I'm like, oh God, I don't know if I can face put makeup on every single day, but we'll see, I probably won't do that. Um, but yeah, anyway, so I, yeah, just filmed job, so I need to edit it and then send it over to um, the brand. Um, and that's kind of it today. Like I've got a lot of like emails and stuff like that, but nothing too exciting really. Um, it was Black Friday week last week and it was manic. Like I was working till like 10, 11 o'clock every night, um, editing and doing like gift guides and blog posts and everything like that. So yeah, it was a pretty busy time. So I'm taking this week a little bit slower. I just want to chill a little bit. I just feel like otherwise I'm just going to get burnt out. Um, and that is no good for anybody. So yeah, I just want to take it a little bit slower. Um, Rafi's actually at the dog sitter today because we are getting our garden done, which is a really weird time of the year to get our garden done, but it just happened to fall like this. Um, so we are actually removing our grass and getting fake artificial grass put down, which I know probably loads of people are gonna be like, oh, don't do it. But <laughs> problem is, is Rafi was just ruining the grass. Like it was horrible, it was yellow. He was digging big holes in it. It was just awful. Like he was just ruining it. And he was also coming to the house so filthy and muddy when it was wet outside. So we decided to go for artificial grass and the one that we've decided on actually looks really good, fingers crossed. So yeah, it's like day two of garden renovation. I don't really wanna say renovation because it's just, we're just putting down new grass. Um, nothing else is really changing. Um, but he's gone to the dog sitters because obviously he can't go out onto the grass at the moment. So if he needs a wee, it's like, so he's gone to the dog sitter today. So it's just me in the house, which is quite nice. Um, it's really rare that I get like a break. <laughs> and Rafi's quite a needy dog as well. So he's just quite constant. Um, don't get me wrong, I love him to pieces. You guys know that. But yeah, he can be quite constant. So it is quite nice to be able to um, him be at the dog sitters who he absolutely loves. And it means I can just crack on with work. 
so yeah and then obviously it was black friday so i made quite a few purchases <laughs> it's so hard to resist when obviously i'm making like blog posts and stuff um and every now and then i just see like a few bits i'm like ooh. um i actually did write a big long list of all the gifts that i wanted to get so there was quite a few bits i wanted to get for sam uh for my mum, something for my dad um stuff like that really so if anything arrives today i will obviously show you as we go along i did get a package from h&m actually so i can show you that um in this vlog obviously i don't know um if this stuff's still going to be in stock because i'm sure black friday will have um cleared out quite a lot of stock for brands so we'll see um but yeah i'll get the h&m package now and show you okay so a lot of you guys have been asking me for um some christmas day outfit idea info um and it really depends on what kind of person you are at christmas day like whether you like get dressed up or whether you stay in your pajamas or whatever but I don't really know what we're doing Christmas Day this year and I just saw this and I thought it was so, so nice. Um, so I thought I would give it a go. Um, so it's this gorgeous little midi skirt from H&M um, and it's like sequins and then it has like a slit here. And I just thought this would be so nice. Like even if you try to kind of casual it down a little bit, like maybe if you wore it with like a roll neck jumper, even like this with this um, or a white t-shirt and a blazer or something. I actually thought this would look really, really cool. You could wear like some boot heels. Um, so I don't know if we get any sort of festive nights out or festive dinners or something like that I thought um, I could wear it for that or for Christmas Day. I don't know if it's going to be a little big. I got it in a 10. Um, maybe I should have got an 8 but yeah it's quite cute. I don't know if it's still going to be in stock. Hopefully it is. And then because I was like oh maybe I'll go all out. I decided I love sequins as well. Like I love sequins so much at Christmas time. Um, you guys will know that from my lavish Alice edit. Uh, which are also really great Christmas um, outfit ideas and I might actually wear one of the dresses on Christmas day because um, it's super super comfy um, but I got the t-shirt as well because I thought they would look quite cute together um, but I also thought you could wear the t-shirt with like some jeans or something um, if you wanted to go for a little bit more casual look but something still nice and sparkly um, so yeah I picked the t-shirt up it's very very soft actually um, like the inside it's not you know sometimes how like the inside of sparkly things can be a bit scratchy this doesn't seem like it will be so I picked that one up in a small. We'll see. I probably won't get a chance to try it on in this vlog. I don't know. I might. Um, yeah, I probably will actually. I'll try it on later for you. Um, but yeah, so that's the t-shirt. So yeah, we'll see. And then, and then in this one, this was actually crazy quick. Like I think I ordered this on like Friday night and it's arrived yesterday. So that's not bad at all. Um, I just got some knitwear um, because lord knows i need some more knitwear <laughs> um so the first one is a jump dress you guys know i love a jump dress i'm wearing one right now it's just the best invention ever they're amazing um so i picked this one up which is much more of like a long jump dress and this also would be such a nice one for christmas day i especially think because they're so comfortable um so it's literally just got a big roll neck which obviously you would roll down like so and it's cream and then it just goes down to a midi length but then it has a little slit at the front which i think is obviously nice um gives a nice bit of movement to the dress and everything um obviously we'll need to <laughs> fake tan the legs to wear this around this time of year um but i thought this would look really cute with a pair of heels you could dress it up pop a belt um, around the middle maybe cinch yourself in or um it would also look really nice with a pair of like big black biker boots um and like toughen it up a little bit it's really really soft actually and it's a gorgeous color so yeah hopefully this is still in stock i got this in a small again i will show you this on later although i've not faked out my legs so it's not gonna be a pretty sight <laughs> but yeah so i got that one um and then i picked up this jumper which i just thought was really really nice um it's just a cream roll neck jumper i love my roll necks and i love my creams as you can see um so yeah it's got a big wide kind of ribbing detail at the bottom there nice big roll neck and then you've got that detail on the sleeve as well. The only thing about this is I think it's like 5% alpaca and I'm a bit funny with those kind of textures, like I get quite itchy, so I'm not sure if I'll keep this. I could wear a long sleeve top underneath it, but I was gonna see how itchy it was, but actually it doesn't feel too bad. Um, and I love how like the alpaca obviously makes it look all fluffy. Um, so yeah, that is all I got from H&M in the Black Friday discount. Um, I didn't really feel like there was loads on there. The, and the bits that I did want, they all had wool in them. Um, and as I said, I find that um, a little bit like itchy and stuff. So 
yeah they are the pieces that i picked up and now i'm gonna head downstairs i'm gonna show you the progress in the garden because the guys have just gone on their break um so i'm gonna show you the progress down there and then just crack on with my day really just do some editing i need to tidy up in here because i've moved everything so that i could film so in other very exciting news my sister has had a baby girl literally like three days ago it's just like the most amazing thing ever so i'm so 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 over the moon for her and i'm so excited to meet her i honestly just can't wait <laughs> like i feel like i want to cry um but yeah i popped a little parcel in the post yesterday for her um just with like a little baby grow in and everything like that so hopefully she receives that soon um but yeah anyway let's go downstairs and i will show you the garden so this is what the garden looks like at the minute as you can see it is a bit of a mess <laughs> which is why obviously ravi couldn't be here because he would be in that dirt um so yeah they've taken up all of the grass sorry you can see my reflection in the window don't want to go out because it's too cold and <laughs> um, they've taken up all of the grass um and then hopefully i think tomorrow they're gonna lay um they put borders all around the garden as you can see as well so yeah i need to paint that shed at some point too here's the christmas tree looking wonderful just because i haven't shown you guys in a little while thought i'd show you um there are no presents under the tree yet that's just an empty box um i am gonna wrap some bits probably at the weekend i think so obviously i will include that in the vlog because we all love a wrapping montage and now i need to buy some new batteries because the batteries on this have gone out which is annoying um so yeah i need to get some more of them and then i put up this wreath on this door here which i got from cox and cox i think it was like two years ago but i wanted to show you for anyone that wants to put a wreath up but doesn't want to damage the door these command strips are so so good i'll leave them linked down below um but when that comes off it's not going to pull the paint off and then obviously the wreath just sits well i mean yeah there we go just sits on like that so the next job that I want to do today is pop the garland up the stairs. I haven't got around to doing it yet. So I think I'm going to do that now, actually. Okay. So this is the garland. Let me put you back a little bit so you can actually see what's going on. Uh, I need to prop you on something. Hang on. Bear with me. Prop you on this vase here. Make a good tripod. Right. So... My mum actually did this for me last year, so I'm not entirely sure how she did it. I just don't think it's working still. Okay, well, it definitely had a switch last year, so maybe you do open this up. Oh yeah, there we go. Yay! Okay, they do work. Okay, right. Now, how do I go about doing this then? I guess I could start at the top maybe. Okay, this is harder than it looks. <laughs> oh, it doesn't reach. do much else to it so that will do i feel like with me like i decorate the christmas tree and then I'm not really interested in doing anything else i just get bored um so yeah that's one job ticked off the list for today okay so i changed my jumper because i just got really hot in that jumper um but i just had an asos parcel through um and i just wanted to show you again what i got sorry this is turning into like a bit of a haul but it's just because obviously deliveries have been arriving and stuff so i just picked up one thing actually i just picked up these um pajamas so these are from abercrombie and i actually had no idea that asos stocked abercrombie and i've recently like i used to love abercrombie back when i was younger um and then recently i discovered that they're like so good they make so many gorgeous pieces especially in the summer so i bought a fair few bits from them um in the summer but um i saw these on asos and they're just so nice so they're little pajamas so they're like ribbed gray material and then they have this lace detailing and then the little kind of spaghetti straps which are adjustable and then um the bottoms look like this so they have a little white tie lace pockets and then that same rib detailing 
and down into cuff bottoms and honestly these are the softest pajamas ever like they're gorgeous i'm so happy with these um it doesn't say how much they were but um they're so so cute really really happy with them i'm probably gonna wear them tonight um yeah they'd make a lovely present as well actually really really luxurious so i maybe might go on and see um if they have any left because i might get them for um a prezi and then another parcel arrived um, this wasn't actually a Black Friday purchase, I actually bought this um, before Black Friday um, because it only had one in stock in my size and I was like, I can't wait. Um, so they are a pair of vagers, so you guys know I love my vagers. Vagers? Vagers? Not sure. Um, I have two pairs and I saw these and I thought they were so, so cool. So they're kind of like the chunky style, um, kind of going on that like dad trainer trend. Um, but yeah, I just thought they were really cool. I live in outfits like this, like sweaters and leggings and i just thought these would make a nice addition to that i just thought they were really cool so i will link these down below if they're still available but yeah i love them they actually do them in sam's size as well and i really want to get them for him for christmas but i showed him them and he was like mm, no i don't really like them <laughs> so obviously won't be doing that um but that is all the pieces that i ordered from black friday i think oh no i did do a zara order because obviously me when zara goes into black friday you got a shot um but all the other pieces that i ordered are presents so i'm trying to decide what to do like obviously i want to show you guys them so that it can be like helpful for you but then i'm also like don't want to ruin the surprise for people so we'll see um so today is actually the last day of lockdown here in the uk um but i don't know like the tier system i feel like it's still kind of locked down um can't really see that many people and stuff so yeah it doesn't really feel that exciting to be coming out of lockdown although it does mean we can go out for dinner so that's quite nice so um we'll probably maybe go out for dinner one day this week um but yeah so anyway i'm going to show you those h&m pieces now and um then i'm just going to get on with some work i'm going to make some lunch my tummy's rumbling <laughs> don't know what i'm going to make i'll see what's in the fridge um and yeah so let's try on those pieces now Okay, so this is the H&M Sparkly number. I actually really, really like this. So obviously this is the t-shirt, which I definitely think you could pair with a pair of jeans or whatever it is, something like that. This would be really good for like, if anyone's doing like Zoom Christmas parties and stuff. Um, so yeah, because I always feel like with Christmas jumpers, they're a little bit, like you can't wear them that often. <laughs> Whereas this you can definitely wear like all throughout the winter kind of period um, and going into like January and February as well. So. Yeah, I thought this was cute. And then this is the skirt. I really, really like it. Annoyingly, it's a little bit bulky from like where I've tucked the top in, but I think if I just pull it up a little bit, it'll be fine. Um, but yeah, I think it's really, really nice. I think with a pair of heels, it would look really like flattering. Um, but also I think you could definitely pop a white t-shirt on and a blazer or a little knit or something. Um, I also think you could definitely wear this with trainers and like a white tee, maybe for like a more casual kind of Christmas lunch or something like that. Um, so yeah, really, really like this. Very cute. Hopefully they still have it in stock. Um, the size 10 is actually fine. I think an 8 would maybe be a little bit too tight. So glad I got the 10. But yeah, I think it's really cute. Okay, so this is the um, H&M knitted dress. So um, it's got a nice little roll neck. I've just pulled my necklace over. I always do that. Um, and then, yeah, a little slit up the side there. I think the slit's actually quite a flattering kind of length. It's a little bit shapeless, but for me that's fine because I'll either belt it or I quite like kind of loose, oversized things. Um, but if that's not your style, then you're probably not going to like this that much. But I think it's really cute. I'd probably pair it with like a pair of boot heels or something. And it's really, really soft as well. Okay, now I have on the Abercrombie pyjamas and I love them. They are so, so comfy. I just think they're really flattering as well with like the high waist and then obviously the cuff detail at the bottom. These are in a medium, these bottoms. I probably could have gone for a small actually. They're a little bit loose. Um, and then the top is really cute as well. I love the lace detail. Really sweet, so comfy. So yeah, this is an absolute winner. I really hope they still have this in stock. Okay, so this is the jumper. I've left my hair tucked in because I think I'm gonna take it off in like two seconds. Um, I really like it, it's such a nice color. I really like the fit, I like the length, but it is just a little bit itchy. Um, I think if you're not bothered by that kind of thing, you'd be fine. But yeah, it's just gonna annoy me, I know it is. So yeah, this one will be going back, but it's really cute. Um, so yeah, if you aren't bothered by wool, then definitely go for it because it's a gorgeous one. I swear there's nothing nicer than a cold Diet Coke. Actually, no, there is a cold Diet Coke when you're hungover. But right now, I just need this so bad. 
I love that sound. Oh my god, I'm trying to do this one-handed. There we go. <laughs> Okay, so I am just gonna jump in the car and head to the food shops quickly. And I also need to go to the doctor's surgery just to pick something up. So yeah, nice and cozy in my Arquette coat. This is honestly like wearing a duvet, I love it so much. And then I've got my little tote bag with me. This, I've spoken about on my channel before, but I got it from a museum in New York. I love it, I literally take it everywhere. Um, so, yeah, and then I have my mask too, which I have in this little cute pouch. Um, and it's inside there. It's a linen one from a company called Plumo. I'll show you it. It's so nice. Again, I've spoken about them before on my channel. But yeah, I'd really recommend. Um, I might actually get these as um, little stocking fillers for Christmas, maybe. Um, so yeah, let's head out. And I will probably see you guys when I get back. I'm not gonna say it to the shops because it's quite stressful with a mask and everything. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys when I get back. Okay, so I am home. I got lots of bits. Um, I'm good because I was looking for um, an advent calendar because obviously it's the 1st of December today. And we don't have one. Um, the only person that has one in this house is Rafi. So, a bit gutted about that, but everywhere's sold out. So, well, I tried two places <laughs> and they were both sold out. So, it looks like no advent calendar for us, which is sad. I'm sure we'll find one. It's not really a big deal. <laughs> I did pick up some Maltese bunnies, though, to make up for the lack of advent calendar. <laughs> so, I have a crazy obsession with pop chips at the moment. I don't know what it is, but the barbecue ones are so good. And I finished them off, so I've got some salt and vinegar ones and I'm just obsessed. So this is lunch. I just have two fish cakes and then I'm going to try and roast some broccoli. I've never actually roasted broccoli before, um, but I'm going to give it a go. I've just popped it on with some olive oil and um, salt and pepper, so we'll see. It says online it takes 18 minutes to roast and they also take 18 minutes, so I just thought I'd pop them all on the same tray. Save washing up, you know. <laughs> okay, Sam has saved the day and come home with this. Bless him. So yeah, buzzing about that. This is a good one as well. It's not just Cadbury's. I got lint. <laughs> this Ruth, is Sam's current position. I can't even hear what you're saying. On PlayStation all the time. Any other girls watching a PlayStation Widow? Because that's me. Thought I would give you a little garden update. It's actually looking really good. So it's all flat and everything. Oh, I nearly got the garden going it then. <laughs> but yeah, impressed with this. I think the turf will be either tomorrow or the next day. Right, let's open number one then. Wait, what? We posted did you eat? Did you eat my number one? Did you eat my number one out of the advent oh. calendar? Where's my one? Did you eat it? Your what? My one out of the advent calendar. No, I ate my one. My bad. That was Sam's one that I picked up then. We got the same one. Um, so mine is here. Let's have a look what we got. Ignore Rafi's toy there and ignore Sam talking in the background. Oh wow, big one. Big teddy. Are they all teddies? No. Buzzing. So Rafi has literally just got back from the dog sitters around five minutes ago and he has just crashed here with Sam. He was asleep a second ago, he's just woken up. Honestly, it was like within minutes, wasn't it? He just he was fast asleep. There's um two other dogs at the dog sitters that he loves and he always goes mad for, so he's probably not slept like at all all day. So you're probably quite tired, aren't you? Such a little sleepy head. Oh, Raph. <laughs> I'm nap now. Yeah? Shall we all have a nap? <laughs> oh dear. I just realised I forgot to tell you what my lunch was like. I didn't even show you it, but I can confirm that roasted broccoli is an absolute win and I really recommend it, it was lovely. Um, so yeah, I actually think I'm gonna finish the vlog here because I need to get this up for tonight. <laughs> so I need to move quick. Um, and I already have like 20 minutes of footage, so yeah. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed it and do let me know what you'd like to see over this period, like what kind of video ideas you have and everything like that. And hopefully I will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 2. Fingers crossed. I don't want to make any promises. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.